Hello, welcome to my channel. We are still continuing with the topic polynomial. If you are new, consider to subscribe, like and share. Visit my previous videos for the beginning of polynomial. So under this, we want to do factorization of a perfect square trinomial. We have done how to uh, factorize a trinomial by first looking out for factors of the constant that when add to give you the coefficient of x we have done that so we can do the same thing to this but we want to see that some questions are perfect square so if uh, a trinomial or a quadratic is perfect square it means the first term square plus twice the first and second term plus what this if you can be able to spot out to see that the middle term is made up of the square, not the square as the answer, the number that is squared, which is the A. The A and the B, not the answer. So if here is 4 square, we are not going to have 16 to be part of the middle term, only the 4. The moment you can see the 4 and the A, twice of them in the middle, then it means that this expression is nothing but A plus what? B or square. The sign you are seeing here is the first sign. As in a square minus 2ab plus b square becomes a minus b or square. This is a perfect square trinomial. The moment the middle term, or first of all, let's see if the first term is squared. The second term is squared. Then the middle term is twice the product of the numbers that have been squared. We call it a perfect square trinomial. All right. Let's take the first one. I can see that one is a, a perfect square. So one square is still one. This is going to be three. So I'll be having x squared plus 6x plus what? Three squared. So the moment I can get the first two square, as in a square, b square, I have to check and see whether is the middle term twice of the product. And I can see that this is going to be x square plus, if I factor the two out, what will be left? 3x, meaning the x will multiply, the 3 will multiply, and I'll have my 3 square. So the more you can spot this out from this question, it means this answer is nothing but x plus what? 3 all squared. So the moment you can be able to spot that the middle term is twice the product of the first and the last term. Your answer is just the first term and the last term all squared. Because if you open this, square the first, twice their product, Square the last, you get your answer. All right. So in the second one, I can see that I have 25, which is also a perfect square. So this is going to be 5x all square, 60x plus 6 square. So this is the square. This The whole of this number is square. If I multiply these two as in 5x, times 6. If I multiply this answer by 2, will I be getting 60? I believe this is 30x times 2, 60x. Then, I can also call this to be a perfect word, square trinomial, meaning this is going to be 5x. We are saying that the number, the sign here is what we use. Then 6 all squared as a perfect square trinomial. If you open this bracket, you end up getting the original. I believe as at this point, you know what this will be. This is also going to be x squared, 14x plus 7 squared. Which we can rewrite this as x squared plus 2 times x times 7 plus what? 7 squared. Meaning, it fits into the perfect square trinomial rule. 
So this is going to go straight forward to be the first term x plus the second term all squared. Good. I believe this will also be something you can be able to find easily. Right? That would be 4x all squared 56x plus what? 7 squared. So now you ask yourself, if you have 4x multiplying 7, twice of that, will it give you 56? I believe that would be 56. This is 28 times 2, 56. So this question is nothing but 4x, the sign here is what? Minus 7 or square. So if you are to factorize any trinomial that is in that form, we call it a perfect square trinomial. Thank you for watching. If you do like this video, share with your learning colleagues. Bye-bye.